Well, that's a good question, and <laughs> your guess is probably as good as mine. Um, but the last few days, we have seen an incredible amount of volatility. Um, I hesitate to read too much from Christmas markets. Uh, I think the fact that a lot of people are off their desks is probably exacerbating the moves. Um, but the medium-term trend involved this year has certainly been a slightly higher volatility regime which is to be expected right um, you're having the end of quantitative easing and actually the US is tightening uh, liquidity conditions and that's uh, exacerbating moves in the market um, that said I think in the very short term it's very much Christmas markets okay is it Christmas markets? I mean we have a brilliant story right which I love the headline of it because it basically says completely bizarre stock moves leave traders scratching heads <laughs> I scratch my head quite a lot in this life. Well, the market's drunk, all right. Let's let's be let's be clear about it. In fact, if if we looked at markets and said the, the market has been I don't know lacking volatility, sort of teetotal for so long, we can't we've we've repressed volatility with this quantitative easing, an excess of money, uh, and we saw the volatility stay down e even as we got this this big upsurge in geopolitical risk, trade wars, the Brexit, uh, gilets jaunes, the Italian politics, Merkel leaving. I mean, the whole, the whole lot coming through. Now, finally, at the end of the year, I think we're just, we're just getting sort of come back from all of that. That the bond market's on the move and it's unlocked everything. But is there not a catalyst? I mean, are they looking at politics? Is the shutdown? Is it Jay Powell and the fight with, with I, President Trump? I, I think it's everything that comes through. You know, right. I mean, we've got an enormous amount all of it going on. We've got a lot of people positioned one way around. This is the first big correction since. ETFs took over the world, if you like, uh, in, in terms of how equity markets trade. Um, and, and I think that's when we know we, we sold off more than bears thought we would sell off. And, and now we're just going slightly crazy trying to find a settling point. And remember, we're all talking about slowdown, cutting back expectations of how much the Fed's going to go next year. The data's fine in America, meanwhile. Right. Yeah, so this is kind of the point, you know, are, are we misjudging the, the probability of a recession in the U.S.? It, kind of, it seems that it may have gone, uh, you know, too negative and are we now too negative or are we still too positive about the U.S. economy? I agree with Kate 100%. I think markets have just shifted too much to the extreme. When you look at U.S. data, um, there's nothing really particularly alarming there. Yes, we knew that the fiscal thrust would fade into next year, but we're talking about growth going from well above trend to perhaps going back to trend growth so we still think US economy will be growing at about trend so that's closer to one and a half two percent next year it's hardly a recession uh, but I think markets are becoming a little bit um, markets have t tilted too much to expecting a very negative growth outlook which isn't warranted what's your best bet for so I would recommend to my audience be careful in both markets stock market and crypto just because um, as you can see the crypto market we've had rebounds but uh, this bear market uh, trend has not been reversed and the same thing with the stock market and so when you're in a bear market it's just very very dangerous to buy in the beginning of a bear market right and I think the best thing you can do is just continue to watch the market continue to educate yourself and just wait for a reversal trend and we haven't seen that in the crypto or the stock market so they could be right where it was over exaggerated uh, for the US and we could see a rally. But for now, we're in a pair market for both asset classes. And I would preach uh, caution and uh, don't worry, you know, you'll you'll be able to get in at a good price, whether it's now or uh, after there's actually been some growth. But just be careful with your uh, buys. And I highly recommend if you are going to buy dollar cost average and spread that average over six months to a year so that way timing is not as important um, but let me know your thoughts on this and i will talk to you soon